In today's video, we delve into the urgent recommendations from the Department of Homeland Security. We're focusing on the top five preparations they emphasize for everyone. Yes, that includes you, urging us to stockpile now. These aren't merely suggestions. They're vital strategies for survival in the face of unforeseen disasters. Number one, water. Water, often overlooked in its simplicity, stands as the linchpin of survival during crises. In emergency preparedness, the Department of Homeland Security underscores the critical importance of ensuring access to a reliable and adequate water supply. Beyond the obvious need for hydration, water plays multifaceted roles that extend far beyond mere sustenance. Consider the immediate implications of a compromised water supply. In the absence of clean water, not only does dehydration pose an immediate threat, but waterborne diseases become a lurking menace. Contaminated water sources can lead to the rapid spread of illnesses, exacerbating the challenges posed by the initial crisis. Now, the DHS recommends stockpiling enough water to last a minimum of three days. This recommendation is rooted in the understanding that during emergencies, municipal water systems might be disrupted, making access to clean water a logistical challenge. Furthermore, the three-day guideline takes into account the average time it might take for relief efforts to stabilize, ensuring individuals have a buffer to navigate through the immediate aftermath of a disaster. Now, the question arises, how much water is enough? A general rule of thumb is to allocate one gallon of water per person per day. This accounts for both drinking and basic hygiene needs. Families with infants, elderly members, or individuals with specific medical conditions may need to adjust their water reserves accordingly. When stockpiling water, it's crucial to consider proper storage. Use food grade containers designed for long-term water storage and ensure they are placed in a cool, dark location to prevent the growth of bacteria and algae. Regularly rotate stored water to maintain freshness and quality. While stockpiling is crucial, it's equally important to develop water purification skills. Having the means to treat water from alternative sources, such as rivers or rain, expands your resilience. Portable water filters, purification tablets, or even basic boiling methods can make these alternative sources safe for consumption. Number two, non-perishable food. Non-perishable food items are the backbone of any emergency pantry, offering sustenance when access to fresh groceries is compromised. While canned goods are commonly associated with emergency food supplies, the scope of non-perishable foods extends far beyond beans and canned vegetables. When stocking your emergency pantry, diversity is key. Aim to include a variety of non-perishable foods that offer a balance of nutrients and flavors. Consider items such as canned meats, fish, and poultry, which provide essential proteins for energy and muscle maintenance. In addition to protein sources, carbohydrates play a crucial role in sustaining energy levels during emergencies. Include staples like rice, pasta, and oats, which offer long-lasting energy and versatility in meal preparation. Don't overlook the importance of fruits and vegetables in your emergency food supply. While fresh produce may not be feasible, canned fruits and vegetables retain their nutritional value and add essential vitamins and minerals to your diet. For added convenience and nutrition, consider including pre-packaged meals and meal kits designed for emergency situations. These kits often contain a variety of non-perishable foods that are easy to prepare and require minimal resources. When storing non-perishable foods, prioritize proper rotation to maintain freshness and prevent waste. Pay attention to expiration dates and consume items before they reach their expiration to ensure optimal quality. Lastly, don't forget about dietary restrictions and preferences when stocking your emergency pantry. Include items that accommodate any special dietary needs or preferences within your household to ensure everyone has access to suitable food options during emergencies. Number three, comprehensive first aid kit. A comprehensive first aid kit is not just a box of bandages and painkillers. It's a critical component of emergency preparedness that can make a significant difference in medical emergencies. While basic supplies like adhesive bandages and antiseptic wipes are essential, a truly comprehensive kit goes beyond the basics to include items that can address a wide range of injuries and medical conditions. One of the primary considerations when assembling a first aid kit is to ensure it contains supplies for wound care. This includes sterile gauze pads, adhesive tape, and wound cleaning solutions such as hydrogen peroxide or saline solution. 
These items are essential for cleaning and dressing wounds to prevent infection and promote healing. In addition to wound care supplies, a comprehensive first aid kit should include tools for assessing and treating injuries. This may include a thermometer to monitor for fever or signs of infection, scissors for cutting bandages or clothing, and tweezers for removing splinters or debris from wounds. A flashlight with extra batteries is also recommended to provide illumination in low light situations. For addressing more serious injuries, such as fractures or sprains, it's important to include items like splints, elastic bandages, and cold packs to reduce swelling and alleviate pain. A CPR mask and instructions for performing CPR should also be included in the kit, as well as a first aid manual to guide users through emergency procedures. Medications are another crucial component of a comprehensive first aid kit. While it's important to consult with a healthcare professional before including medications in a first aid kit, common items may include pain relievers, antihistamines, and antidiarrheal medications. Additionally, individuals with specific medical conditions such as allergies, or asthma should ensure their first aid kit includes any necessary medications or supplies related to their condition. Regular maintenance of a first aid kit is essential to ensure its contents remain up to date and functional. This includes checking expiration dates on medications and supplies, replacing any used or expired items, and periodically reviewing and updating the kit based on changes in medical needs or recommendations. Number four, Hygiene and sanitation supplies. Maintaining proper hygiene and sanitation is a critical aspect of emergency preparedness, yet it often takes a backseat in discussions on survival. In times of crises, ensuring personal cleanliness not only safeguards your health, but also contributes to the overall well-being of communities. Let's delve into the often overlooked hygiene and sanitation supplies that can play a pivotal role in keeping you healthy when resources are scarce. First and foremost, consider the importance of hand hygiene. In emergency situations where access to running water may be limited, stockpiling alcohol-based hand sanitizers becomes crucial. These sanitizers effectively eliminate germs and bacteria, reducing the risk of infectious diseases. Additionally, incorporating antibacterial hand wipes into your emergency kit provides an alternative for maintaining hand cleanliness when traditional washing is not possible. When it comes to personal hygiene, disposable gloves are indispensable. They not only protect you from potentially contaminated surfaces, but also help prevent the spread of pathogens to others. Include a sufficient supply of gloves in various sizes to accommodate different members of your household. For maintaining oral hygiene, don't overlook the significance of including toothbrushes and toothpaste in your emergency supplies. Good oral health is not only vital for overall well-being, but also contributes to your body's ability to fight off infections. Travel-sized toothbrushes and toothpaste are convenient additions to your kit. Considering feminine hygiene is often an afterthought, particularly in emergency scenarios, including sanitary pads or tampons, is imperative for the well-being of women. Inadequate menstrual hygiene can lead to infections and discomfort, emphasizing the importance of including these items in your emergency supplies. To address the need for basic sanitation, consider adding biodegradable soap and shampoo to your kit. Maintaining cleanliness, even in makeshift conditions, contributes to overall comfort and well-being. Biodegradable options are environmentally friendly, minimizing the impact on surrounding ecosystems. Waste disposal is another critical aspect of hygiene during emergencies. Large, sturdy trash bags should be included to facilitate the proper disposal of waste, minimizing the risk of contamination and preventing the spread of diseases. Additionally, Consider including a portable toilet or sanitation bags for situations where conventional restroom facilities are unavailable. Number five, reliable communication tools. In crises, staying connected transcends convenience. It becomes a lifeline for accessing vital information, coordinating with loved ones, and seeking assistance. The Department of Homeland Security emphasizes the indispensable nature of reliable communication tools in your preparedness arsenal. And here's why. At the forefront of communication tools is a robust, multifunctional, and portable emergency radio. These radios, often powered by hand cranking or solar energy, ensure you stay informed even when traditional power sources are unavailable. Look for models that cover a broad spectrum of frequencies, including weather bands and emergency channels, to receive real-time updates and alerts from authorities. Satellite phones stand out as a critical communication tool in situations where traditional cellular networks may fail, 
They operate independently of ground-based infrastructure, providing a direct line of communication with emergency services, loved ones, and relevant authorities. Though more expensive than standard mobile phones, their reliability in remote or disaster-stricken areas makes them a worthwhile investment. Additionally, consider incorporating personal locator beacons or satellite messengers into your emergency kit. These devices allow you to send distress signals and your GPS coordinates to emergency responders, facilitating a quicker and more accurate rescue in remote locations. Some models also enable two-way messaging, enhancing your ability to communicate your situation effectively. For short-range communication within your household or community, walkie-talkies or two-way radios play a crucial role. These devices are simple to use, provide instant communication, and can be invaluable in scenarios where verbal communication is essential. Ensure they operate on multiple channels and have a reasonable range, accounting for potential obstacles and interference. In the digital age, smartphones remain powerful communication tools, but their reliance on cellular networks can pose challenges in emergencies. Therefore, supplement your smartphone with portable power banks or solar chargers to keep it operational when electricity is scarce. Familiarize yourself with offline messaging apps and communication platforms that work without a cellular signal or internet connection. Consider integrating a whistle into your emergency kit. While seemingly simple, a whistle is an effective and loud signaling device, aiding communication in situations where verbal communication may not suffice. Its compact size makes it an easy addition to your preparedness toolkit. 